What is going on, everybody? Good morning. I'm Hunter. Thanks for checking into the channel. Today, I got a special one for you. We've got all the rail up. I've got all my holes drilled for iron balusters. So today, I'm gonna show you a quick how-to on, we're gonna just do quick measurements. We're gonna cut them outside on an iron cutting saw, and then we're gonna bring them in, and I'm gonna show you just a simple trick on how to install, secure them, no liquid nail, just a screw. If you have any iron balusters at home, and let's say one or two were a little loose, or you can hear them wobble walking up and down the stairs, or the kids are running their hands down them, and a couple of them are loose, this is gonna be a simple trick that you as a homeowner can do at home, just to tighten up that baluster and walk away. So here we go, guys. I'm gonna start off. I got my block for scrap measurements here, and uh, we're just gonna get my measurements, and then we're gonna get head out to the saw, and we're gonna get cutting. Now technically, when I'm measuring this out, guys, I'm gonna want it to go, I'm gonna want it to be about an inch and a half larger than, this, than the opening that I have. All right, we're back outside now. We got boxes full of iron. We need to start opening these, get some of these balusters out, and then we're gonna get this set up. All right, guys, we got our DeWalt 14 inch saw. We got an iron or a steel cutting blade for our iron balusters to cut on it here. We do have our handy, for some odd reason, there's 7-Eleven safety glasses, so it's about time we snag these boys on. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. So now, guys, I got 84 balusters is my total count on how much I need in this house. So I got 84 laid out on the table here. Now, we have some at different measurements. Some are going on the rakes of the stairs where you're going up and down the stairs and some are on the flat, so different measurements. But I'm gonna start off with my most amount and I need, per my block, I need 52 at 36 and three quarters. So I'm gonna put the blade down right there, get it hooked on. I'm gonna come over my 36 three quarters. I'm just gonna clamp this down here, guys, and this is just, you know, so I don't have to measure every single baluster. No one wants to do that. So, we got our block, got it set. This guy's ready to go. It's pretty loud. But, let's start cutting, guys. So, you see me laying them out, and I'll cut it. So, let's cut it real quick. And then you see me doing something like this. All I'm doing is I'm just scratching those little burrs, whether you can see them on the edge or not. I'm just scratching those burrs off. All I'm doing is just scratching those off it makes it a lot easier, and maybe maybe so you don't cut your finger, but it makes it a lot easier for it to slide down into the hole. So, you see me cut, and you see me roll it on the saw. It's just to deburr that edge, fits easier into the wood. It doesn't, it, it slides in nicer, and you'll see later why. All right, guys, 52 of those. Boom, done. Next size is 35, so get this loose. Get this on the edge where we want it. We need to slide this guy down. Get it to my 35 mark. Clamp it back up so it stays. 
we're off to cutting again. Beautiful house, right? Look at this thing. Massive. We've got a finished basement in this thing, over 7,000 square feet. Beautiful. We just got all the balusters cut. Now we just need to run them in, start the install process of screwing them in. Let's do it. All right, guys, ran all those pieces back in. So we have all of our balusters kind of leaning up against the wall or laying on the floor, kind of where we need to install them. But the next rule of business, these are the little boots and uh, let's get a baluster here. These boots slide on and cover the bottom, but there are two different types. Both of them have an Allen screw. I believe it's closest, I think it's a number three Allen, but there's two Allen screws to then tighten to the baluster after install. But two separate types of boots. One is obviously for our rake. This is the rake down the stringers the rake of the rail, and then obviously the other boot is for our flat runs. So save you the headache. My next rule of business is to take all of these. Each one is kind of individual in bubble wrap inside a little baggie. So I have to go through each one, take them out of the baggie, lay them out all next to the holes. That's the next order of business. So let's do it. All right, guys, on my knees now, got some knee pads on. I'm just gonna do a couple, just so you see, and then we'll explain it here a little bit further um, on what I'm doing, how I'm doing it. But uh, we've already got the holes up top drilled. We've leveled down each hole, marked the center, drilled those out. We've cut our balusters, we've got our boots ready, and we're gonna face our boots, we're gonna face the Allen all one way, just to make it look clean and to make it easier when we go to tighten them. So in this case, I'm facing all the Allen key screws that will tighten on the baluster. I'm gonna face them to the wall, but make sure you slide it on first. Make sure you got her in the hole. Next one, same thing. Allen key's already faced to the wall. Sometimes you gotta kinda work at it to get it in. There we go. Okay, one more here. And then we'll get a little close up. I'll try to get a nice close up since I'm the only one here. And they're snug, so be gentle, be gentle, take your time. Okay, so you can see that we have our holes up top. There's my thumb up there. We got holes up top, and then we got our holes at the bottom. So Just hear me out while I do this. Let's get the drill out of the way. We slip the baluster. We got the Allen key. Let's see, got the Allen key. Okay. Slip the baluster. Gosh, of course I have the. Sorry, I got the hardest one here because I didn't. I didn't deeper this edge. Okay, let's try another baluster. My bad. Let's try this again. Okay. Slip it in. We've got the Allen key, right? We're facing the Allen key towards the wall, so I turned it. Now just focus there on the bottom for me. I'm gonna slide it into the top. Ready? Let's just kind of just view up. So we've got our hole up top, and I've got it in, and I'm just gonna pull tight up, okay? Now, guys, super simple. 
inch and a quarter drywall screws. Now I know some people think, oh, well we liquid nails are in, ours in, you know, and that's, well, they, they fail over time. The liquid nail doesn't keep true all the time. It kind of sometimes holds for that first year and then it fails. So drywall screw, I am pulling up tight on the baluster. I have it squared out to where I like, okay? And I'm getting the screw right here on the inside. And I'm running it in, holding the baluster up until we get, I don't know if you could see it, the screw down here is pinched against the baluster, tight in the wood. And that thing, if you could tell, boom, there you have it. One nice rail, all nice and snug. Okay, hold up, hold up. Let's just go over this one more quick time. It is simple to me at least to understand and figure out, but let's go over it one more time. We've got our baluster, our boot. We got our set screw pointed towards us this time, this whole run, we're going down. We're bringing it back up so it's snug. We're getting a inch and a quarter drywall screw, guys. The cheapest screw almost you could buy at Home Depot and I am pulling up on the baluster to make it tight up top, and I am holding it there. I'm not lifting it, so I'm bending the wood, bending the rail, I'm holding it there as I'm screwing in that screw and tightening it. Very simple. Um, most balusters do have this little nib or nip at the top where it's just round and a little, little smaller than the square detail of this baluster. But for this case, all the holes up top are half inch paddle bit holes, half inch. The holes in the bottom are 11 sixteenths. Last but not least, guys, last step. All iron secure everywhere. But now our boots are still loose. So what we need to do is we need to get our number three Allen. And we need to go through, and it's tedious. That's why I have a longer one to fit it around these sides here. And we need to go through and just tighten each one. Don't tighten it too tight to the point where the Allen strips or anything, just get it snug and it's not going anywhere. And that's it. Done, it's in, fancy, I like it. But in this case guys, I'm gonna loosen this one back up. I'm not gonna go through all these and tighten them because the painter is gonna come in, he's gonna tape all these up in order to stain underneath every boot. And when I come back in here to finish putting in some doorknobs, um, putting in the rest of the baseboard on top of all the finished floor, I'll also come through and tighten every boot in here. If you stuck with me this long, thank you so much. Appreciate it, I really do. And I hope you learned something or just enjoyed watching me be on my hands and knees and running around cutting iron and kind of going crazy today. Hope you enjoyed it. Hammer that like button, please. Subscribe and uh, turn on notifications. Three weeks from now, four weeks from now, I'll be walking this entire house. We'll do a full walkthrough of this so you can see all 7,000 square feet of this DR Horton home here in Castle Rock. Thank you so much, guys. Hope you have a good rest of the, rest of the day. Stay safe, we're out.